Hi YouTube. Today I am making paper clay and this is made with bits of any kind of scrap paper that you have. It could be newspaper, it could be old bills, it could be scraps of construction paper, it could be paper towels if they're clean, you know if you just used it to wipe up water. Anyway, what I'm doing now is I have some warm water which helps a little bit, though it doesn't have to be warm. And I'm ripping my paper into pieces and putting it inside the blender. It's usually best to do this in somewhat small batches because it just puts less strain on the blender. Now I have warm water in here, which helps with the process, but it you also have to be a little bit careful because sometimes if it's too warm it'll blow your lid off your blender. So you just put it in. I may edit this part because it'll be loud, but you hit your button and just whiz it around. Make sure you have plenty of water in there. Yep, see it blew. There she blew. That's what I was talking about with the warm water, so let's try that again. Take that lid off, keep this one on strong, and let her rip. When you're done, you have this sort of slurry of water and paper. And I'm going to have to bring you over here now for the next step. What you need to do next is take a strainer. I have a rather large one. And I'm going to pour my slurry mix into the strainer. The idea here being that we want to get out as much of the water as possible. So I'm going to actually press it with my hand to get all that excess water out. I usually do, when I used to do this with my kids back when they were little, I used to do bigger batches than this. Uh, this is great if your kids need to do some kind of a science project or, you know, they have to make a scene inside a shoebox or something where you would normally use clay. But clay, almond clay is rather expensive, I think. So this is a cheaper version. I can't remember where I came across it or if I thought it up, you know, I really don't know. But anyway, you want to get your mixture to where it's pretty dry. In fact, I'm going to squeeze this out some more just in my hand. Um, the reason being, if you don't get out a lot of the excess moisture now, then your drying time is really going to be long. So this helps make the drying time a little less long. When you're using your scrap paper, try not to use any envelopes that have a plastic window on it because I don't think that's going to dry it up very well. And in fact, I found a piece in here. So anyway, we now have this rather dry lump. And to this we're going to add just a little bit of flour, plain flour. This isn't a lot of paper, so I'm probably going to put, I don't know, a tablespoon, which is probably more than I need. I don't think I'd use more than a quarter cup of flour with a cup of pulp. So anyway, you just mush that around with your hands until it's well incorporated. Flour is going to be your glue that's going to hold it all together. And this really does work, guys. My kids did volcanoes and mountains, and one of them had to do a cutaway of a stream for an ecosystem project. And it works quite nicely. One of the things that's nice about it for, for a, an application like that is it just naturally has lumps and bumps in it. I don't know if you can see that very well. So that when you're modeling it, you don't get a smooth surface, but you get sort of a modeled surface, and that's actually rather nice. If you want to color this, you can add food dye or little bits of construction paper. It paints, once dry, it paints very nicely. And if you did want a smoother surface, you could probably achieve that by either leaving it a little bit wetter or um, 
maybe going over it with just plain paper, kind of like you would with paper mache. But anyway, it works quite nicely. My kids always had fun with it. I hope you do too. One more thing you can do is, when it's still in its somewhat wet form, wetter than what I'm showing you, is that you can pour it into a mold such as this that has a design. And once it's dry, you can take it out, punch a hole in it, hang it up, whatever. You can also pour the very wet mix onto a screen rather than a, a sieve like this. Pour it onto a screen and press it out rather flat and you can make homemade paper and that's kind of fun too. So I hope you guys try it and I hope you have fun with it. Take good care folks.